Hi folks, welcome to my Epic Retro Journal. It's um, Thanksgiving weekend, and so I'm only gonna do a very short um, video this week. I call these quick clips, uh, where I uh, just kind of demo something really quickly, uh, and I'm still sort of working through uh, the problems of uh, with my QL. So I'm, 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 I spent time trying to sort of investigate music on the QL. It, it has a very simple and primitive um, beeper speaker. But it can uh, make tones, and I did find uh, this really cool um, uh, music program called uh, Qubits Exploring QL Sound, and it can play um, uh, music, and you can also type in music. Uh, has a kind of cool interface, um, and uh, I'm going to demo this for you. But before I do that, I actually also have this old Casio keyboard, uh, and, which is actually much more powerful uh, than uh, what the QL can do. Um, and yeah, I've been kind of practicing a particular song. So let's see if you can actually recognize this song. So here we go. Are you ready? Uh, lots of pressure because I am not a musician. So, so cringeworthy. Here we go. So uh, if you haven't recognized that, that's Mary Had a Little Lamb. And, uh, uh, you know, pretty easy to play. Although, again, I'm just looking at the notes right here because uh, I was actually able to enter the notes uh, in this. And so let me play you this one to show you how, what it sounds like. So now it's playing the bottom bar. So yeah, so this is a, a cool little program where on the uh, the left hand side um, you can see the, uh, the the music symbols, the music notes, and then you can use a little micro keyboard above to uh, pick the note. And uh, if you have sheet music, you can kind of transcribe it into the QL. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. Now, now it didn't actually it it wasn't as easy as just loading a program. This is actually a program written in Super Basic. And on a bare bone QL that doesn't have any uh, acceleration, it ran really slow. And in fact, when you ran the song, it did not sound good. And so I actually had to find a way to compile basic. The QL actually has several uh, uh, basic compilers and um, I used one called Supercharged and it actually worked really well. And so one of the things uh, I will, when I do the full video on, on music, uh, I will demonstrate uh, is is how the um, what's called supercharged by Digital Precision and Digital Precision is the one that also made my um, Digital C compiler. It also made the uh, con uh, uh, Conqueror uh, MS DOS emu uh, emulator that I demoed on this uh, channel. Uh, now they also have a more modern version called Turbo, and I'll have to try that. Uh, I've played with both, and what I like about Supercharged is it, it just has a nicer interface. The, the Turbo one is. is it, tries to give you a bit more graphical interface and I also don't know if it'll work on an unexpanded QL. I think the super um, charged one will. I, I did compile this on an emulator, but I, I will try to compile this on the actual bare bone QL for, for the video. So you'll get to see that and then we'll see, uh, we'll, we'll explore the music program. There's, there's two modes. There's the, um, where you can enter sheet music, but you can also then um, individually, um, adjust the notes so that you can turn, make them sound differently. Uh, I don't know enough about music to, to understand how, how to do that. So you'll only see me poking around with that. Um, I, and I don't know, I don't know how that would map to something like this Casio keyboard. In any case, that's all I'm going to do today for the short uh, video clip. Uh, I, if you don't know what Thanksgiving is in the U.S., it's celebrated in the last weekend of November and family get together and uh, you know eat lots of good food and uh it's sort of the, the holiday a month before the christmas holiday now of course during the pandemic uh my family and i were very socially distant and very careful since we don't we're all vaccinated but we still were pretty careful so we don't want to make these events uh you know something that causes harm to us or our friends uh anyway so i hope every everyone that is watching this is staying safe if you're in the u.s happy thanksgiving if you're not in the u.s uh the christmas holidays are coming up soon uh in, in a month from now so i'm sure you're hopefully in a festive spirit and um, um i'll see you next time so thanks for joining me today